there really hasn't been that moment where it's like, holy cow, this is crazy. It's just kind of been part of our life. The touchdown that I liked the most this year was the first one we scored. That was the first touchdown that Peyton's thrown to me in college. We've been doing it for so long. It's just nothing new. Eight years we've been playing together. It's been a long journey. It hasn't just been football. He really is a friend that I will be friends with for the rest of my life. He's one of those guys that is truly family. I got recommended to a team called um, the Neighborville Chargers. I was in seventh grade, he was in eighth. Our coach told us that we were getting this new player and he's pretty good. He came with his dad and his brother to one of our practices. We were mid-practice and he showed up and, and then he hopped right in with us and you could quickly tell this guy, he was gonna help us out quite a bit. There was one game I remember in particular where Jaden had three touchdowns, Peyton threw four touchdown passes, Jaden had three of them. He was so much faster than everybody else on the field that you could just tell this kid is gonna be something special. Peyton and Jaden had a connection right away in regards to how they play the game. And I think they both had the desire to win. And I think they both noticed that amongst one another. After we played that season, we didn't really keep in contact. I didn't see him for like a whole year until I bumped into him again randomly at Mateo Valley High School. I was in high school and Peyton was in eighth grade. I'm hanging out around the concession stands like you know most middle school kids do. And somebody pushed me and I and I literally backed into some guy and it was Peyton. I was like, yo, like what are you doing here? He's like, oh I'm going to high school here. I was like, no way. He's like, yeah, I live down the street and all this. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I didn't know that. I was very excited to see him again. The next year, we were able to play together again. He played on the sophomore team, and I was fortunate enough to get pulled up on that team, and I got to play with him again. And that's kind of where the relationship really started to blossom, and they became such close friends, and the chemistry you see now, it kind of started back then. My dad had a very huge role in me playing football. That was when I most seen him smile. Every game, he showed up. He was always an active dad. And one of those reasons being is because he knew what it felt like not to have that type of support. My dad was sick. I was pretty young. It was just tough, you know, day to day, just seeing him hooking up to a, a dialysis machine. I didn't understand how bad it was. September the 13th, 2015. He had end-stage kidney failure with connection to heart failure. It was definitely a shock to us all. After my dad passed away, it was a lot of things I wanted to give up on. And, and then I went back to, you know, things he told me, why I should keep going. And uh, I found my purpose. During that time, we did grow closer. I never really had a friend or anything like that lose somebody. I just couldn't imagine losing my dad. The amount of respect that I have for him is absolutely incredible because I watched him like two days after his dad passed away. He was in school, but then he played on that Friday. And I remember I threw him a slant and he took off. It was like 70 yards. To watch how he responded to that was pretty incredible. At Matia Valley, they struggled. They had personal success. Uh, Jaden, they used Jaden more as a defensive back, so he didn't play a lot of receiver. When he did, he did magic with the football like he always had. So we moved here into Naperville to get Peyton at Naperville Central, a more established school that's been around for a long, long time with a, a strong athletic culture. I told Jaden, I think I'm leaving. If you want to come, let's, let's go play together. We had our mindset the whole time on, hey, we're going to go somewhere together. There was definitely a connection that we had at, at Naperville Central that transferred over from Matea and from the Chargers team. 
it wasn't until he transferred to Central where you start getting like all the accolades. Against St. Edward out of Ohio, Jaden put on a show. And ironically, one of the defensive backs was Michael Dowell, who starts a defensive back for Michigan State now. I kind of struggled in school after my dad passed away. I kind of gave up on a lot of stuff. And, you know, that played a huge role in, you know, me not getting into a Power 5 school. I ended up receiving offers from Western Michigan, Toledo, and Miami of Ohio. Those are only schools that offered me coming out of high school. Looking for Reed, and he drops it in the bucket. Touchdown, Broncos. I was a freshman All-American my freshman season at Western Michigan. That gave him the confidence, like, I want to take my skills and take it up a notch. He called me. I answered, and he goes, hey, I got something I need to talk to you about. And I was like, all right. He seemed pretty serious. So I was like, all right, well, what's going on? And he says, I, I think I'm going to transfer, bro. And I said, well, I know a place that I think would be pretty fun for you to play. And within like a week, he was committed. The first game, the Northwestern game, there was two defenders covering him. Thorne off the puck. And Jaden went up going for the ball. And going up to grab the 50-50 ball is Jaden Reed. And coming down with it. And it's their ability to trust one another and th them knowing each other's strength. That's something that the world is just beginning to see. That connection with the signal, it really kind of started at Mattel. And then it just transitioned over to Central and it just got bigger from there. Oh my If you want to be successful in relationships, you better have trust. Those two have been through a lot together. And so their, their trust level is just, it's at a really high level. I would say it's just an accumulation of time, reps, and experience playing with each other. And that's big time with Reed. Reed is off to the races. I understand where he's going to run. We've gained a knowledge of what type of angles he likes to run at and then what type of trajectory I'm going to put on the ball. It's not even something you really talk about that much. It's just kind of something you learn as time goes on. Finally, everyone else is getting to see what we knew was there and we knew what could happen. Reed, Jaden Reed. It's so fun and exciting to see them perform the way they have to start this season like they did in high school. We can look back at pictures and be like, oh my gosh, first off, you look so skinny. Second off, I look even skinnier than you. We were friends when we looked like that and now here we are.